my God. Hey, apostle. Doctor. Apostle. Into me. Yeah. What can send me? Hmm. Come here. Oh, see. A baby to me do a. Hmm. It me can send me to so. My God. No, you want me. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, to me. You can't. I just say, I'm a fish. Because. No, I see for. I saw me a doctorate. Yeah, doctorate.
when I had no shoes. But I stopped crying. When I saw a man without legs. Man of God, what is your problem? Listen to the word of God that will empower you. When you are me, a better word day. Now, remember with Gina, Apostle Texan, breaking yoke, suffer coming up. Fire, 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 my God, fire, 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 fire. God bless you. you. Today is a wonderful day. Mm. Today is a day that uh, to transform someone's life mm. through positive thinking. Mm. So for, I was listening to you in my car. When I was coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Mm. You are better than someone. Mm. He said, he said, he said, you are better off than a president who is dead. And yeah. Even though no God recognizes you. Mm. You don't have any title. Yeah. But mm. so long as you live, mm. the Bible said once there is life, there is hope. And mm. For a tree knows that when you cut it down, mm. it will sprout mm. again. Mm. How much more you, a human being? Mm. So, your falling is not the end of your life. Mm. In fact, it is a learning process. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I want to see this opportunity to greet my father, His Excellency, Prophet Dr. Shephas Kwame Bega Tamaku. JP. JP. Papa, may you live long. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Today, I want to motivate someone. Today, I want to encourage someone. Today, I want to speak into someone's life. Someone, Shofu Kwamana, is at the verge of giving up. Yeah. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Mm. I love that word so much. It said, be ye not transformed to this world. Mm. But be what conform, be ye transformed. Transform. Do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Mm. How? By the renewing no, uh, of, of your the mind. Also, so the mind will tell you mm. you are not fit. Mm. Mm. The world will tell you mm. you don't belong here. Mm. The world will tell you mm. you don't have the necessary qualification. Mm. The world will tell you, remind you of your past. Mm. Your past failures. Mm. Your past mm. mistakes. Jesus. The things that you have done in before mm. Mm. Have seen. to try to bring you down. Mm. So, so so said, don't be conformed mm. to the standards of this world. Mm. Mm. But yes, be no he transformed uh, no, no, no. by the renewing of the mind. Yes. I was reading something that I came across mm. some very powerful mm. quotes. Mm. And mm. I want to mm. share with the nation. Mm. 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 Hear me. You see, it is your mind mm. or your thought mm. that control you. Mm. Your character mm. is as a result of the way you think. So, mm. so the character that you have right now, mm. your mm. actions right now, mm. the way you live, the way you talk, the way you see yourself is as a result of your thoughts. And the thoughts create the character. And the character creates the circumstances. So your character has created the circumstances that you find yourself in. So right now, the circumstances you find yourself in, it is you who have created it. It is not the real you. But you have created it. And God created the mind and endow the mind with powers that can either make you or make it. You. Your mind can make you great and your mind can bring you down. The secret of living a life of excellence is a matter of thinking thoughts of excellence. It is a matter of programming your mind with the kind of information that will set you free. I want to take it again. The secret of living a life uh, of excellence is a matter of thinking thoughts of excellence. So if you want your life to be excellent, mm. if you want to excel in life, mm. then begin to think about mm. thoughts of excellence. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. So Amen. Amen. And as you program your mind mm. with the kind of information, mm. also folks, we need certain information. You need certain information. That will propel you into greatness. That will set you free. And so that is the first thing I want to share with you. Oh, 
Oh, hallelujah. Say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now listen to this one. Whatever the mind, the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I want to take it again. Whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, you can achieve it. That is how God has made you. Mm. I am talking to someone somewhere who is thinking my life is over. My I am God. telling you this my afternoon yes, it is not and over is not for you yet. Yes. 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 If only yes. you can think yes. about yes. greatness. Yes. If only yes. your mind yes. can yes. conceive greatness. Yes. And yes. if only you can believe in greatness. Yes. 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 You can achieve that greatness. God is about to change your story. Because you were designed for accomplishment. You were designed to accomplish great things. You are engineered for success. And you are endowed with the seeds of greatness. It doesn't matter whether you can see or not. Whether you are blind or not. Whether you've been to school or not. Whether your family has rejected you or not. Greatness is inside of you. You were designed for accomplishment. Tomorrow by this time. If only your mind can conceive greatness. And if only you can believe in greatness. You will achieve greatness. Your name is about to change. Your story is about to change. People who knew you before. Those who have written you off. I tell you what. They will come back to you. And then they will salute you. Oh hallelujah. If you can see the possibility of greatness. If you only you can see that it is possible. It is possible for me to make it. It is possible for me to make it. It is possible for me to be captured among the great men. It will surely come to pass. Oh, I said it will surely come to pass. Amen. Now listen to this one also. Today I just came to motivate someone. Greatness also is not measured by what a man or woman accomplishes. But greatness is measured by the opposition, the trials, the storms, the setbacks, the discouragement that he or she has overcome to reach his goals. So the, the challenges that came your way, the trials that come your way, what people said about you, at the point in time somebody told you, I wonder if you are talking about